gonna need a cup of coffee for this one. So, Ned Alley reached out to me and said, hey, you wanna try one of our tools? <laughs> Why would I say no to that? So, a couple days later, this arrived. This has been sitting on my desk for the last two days because I wanna show you guys exactly what happens when you get one of these when you buy it. Mine's on loan for a couple months because I want to try this very sophisticated, very, very good tool that does a lot of stuff in a small package. Now, I get the time to play with this and hopefully I get to try some more of their products and play with them. This one right here was chosen because it does Wi-Fi. I really want to try some Wi-Fi stuff. So on my adventures and some videos I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to take it to some sites and I'm going to see what it does for Wi-Fi. I think it does heat mapping. It does Wi-Fi scanning. It can see what kind of access points, uh, what things are happening on the access points. But it also has multiple ports on it. So that way you can plug it into a network with fiber using transceivers or RJ45. Now, looking at the specs for this beast, I'm going to say it's a beast because it does so many things. I see that it does 10 gig Ethernet, which means it does multi gig. 10, 100, 1, 2.5, 5, and 10. More coffee. It also does Wi Fi, and I believe it's got an antenna that you could buy externally to put on the top of it because it's got a port on there, I see. To do 2.4, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz. Maybe our new model will come out and do Wi-Fi 7 soon, but this one right here only does the 6 gigahertz stuff. It does spectrum analyzing, and one of the things I really, really want to try, because I haven't had the time to, and I haven't really put much effort into a product to look and see about doing iPerf, because everybody's like, oh, I got to have the best Wi-Fi. But do you really need the best Wi-Fi? And do you really have the best Wi-Fi? This thing will do iPerf testing to a server. So I might try to build myself something small with a 10 gig port on it or a one gig port and go to a site and plug it in and see what kind of speed you're gonna get and roam around. So there's lots to go on in here. I'm not gonna go into configuring it or doing anything like that today. I'm just gonna show you guys what comes in the bag and what we need to do to get the product working. So let's have a look. Fancy, nice little bag. Can't wait to take it with me on site. What do we got? We got a zipper on the top. Oh, nothing in it, but it looks like there's enough room in there to put some maybe fiber transceivers or some USB sticks or something maybe. Pretty sweet. What do we got here? I haven't even opened this. I'm telling you that now because we see a notice. Before we go further, it says stop. You must register this and activate this product. Okay, all new. XG300 products come with first year of Alley Care support included. Software upgrades, enabled product features, product repairs, accessory replacement, and priority. Phew, said that tongue twister. I need more coffee, maybe. Hold on. Mm, yep. Priority technical support. Sweet. Okay. Well, I was told from the phone call when they sent this to me that I can treat this as it's mine to do whatever I want with to make content for you guys. Now the purpose of this video is to show you what I see doing this, not what somebody else has shown you from pieces to pieces. Of. I'm going to take you and show you guys exactly what I learned how to use this product. And I'm intimidated by it, but I'm pretty sure once I play with it a couple times, I'll learn things and I'm going to show you guys that too. But yeah. That's, we have to do that, so we're going to register that together, and I'm going to do that with you. Not this video. It has a lot of features. Oh yeah, right there, iPerf. Right on the sheet, it says right there, iPerf. That is exciting. It's got an app store built into it. A land bird, so qualify layer one copper fiber media for air free. Ooh, sweet. Like I said, this thing does a lot of stuff. Yep. Okay, well, I'll go over all of that stuff in detail in the second video when I register it, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Let's see what else we get in the bag. 
Oh, we got the device. Oh, okay. That's a beefy power cord. Why do we have... Oh, okay. Okay. We have a ah, big... Oh. USB-C power adapter. Holy. That's a nice adapter. Cool. Uh, and then the device. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't see... Oh, there's more stuff in here, I think. What's in the front here? No, oh, maybe not. There's something in here. Oh, there's another zipper bag in there. Ha <laughs> ha. Funky. Oh, what's this? Oh, adapters and stuff. Nifty. Okay, okay. What do we got? So, an adapter. So let's open that after. We got a power cord for the power brick to charge it. And then it looks like... I guess I can open this, right guys? Because it's mine to use for a while. Oh yes, I see. Okay, I see. Ah, so we don't have to use this power cord, but we can if we want to extend it. So it looks like we got different country style connectors. Yeah, that one's not mine. This one's not mine. This one's mine, okay. So let's open that. How does it work? Oh, okay. Oh, got to pull the passive cover off there. Okay, cool. But it allows you to change the adapters so we can go to different countries and stuff like that. Nifty. Awesome. I'll put all these back into here because we got to send those back to them. And I'm sure I don't want to lose anything I'm not going to use. Okay, okay, okay. Put that over here. Sip of coffee. Mm. The unit itself. But before we get to the meat and potatoes of the nice big beast... Let's have a look at what kind of adapters we have in here. What do we got? Oh, it looks like we have a RJ45 to RJ45 coupler and it's shielded, so it's stainless it's steel. Okay. Yep, that's in there. And we got a land. Let's open this. What do we got? Hmm, that figures. Oh, we have a wire mapper. Oh, number one. Okay, sweet. Okay. Oh. What's this little piece of paper say? End user license agreement. Eh, we're not gonna read that. But it looks like they sent a transceiver. That's what it looks like anyways. Let's see what this says. Oh yeah. Ooh. What does that say? Oh, so small. Is it a one gig or 10 gig? I can't see what that says, but I'll take a picture show. I think it says one gig, but my poor eyes can't see that small printing. But I did put this back before I cause any issues. I did see online and I did before this came do a little bit of investigating Someone said in a video, they have some training ones that are real good, that the port, ooh, that looks nice, holy. But they have a port on the top here that's SFP. And one of the questions people often ask when you use a device like this is, is this a unlocked port where it doesn't complain about transceiver modules? And it was answered. This is unlocked and it's not very picky. Now I'm sure there's probably ones that might not work. You mean you can't win them all, but most of the common ones like 10G Tech or FS.com all work in here. And I will show that because I have some buy die stuff and I have some multi-mode stuff that we'll try in here. It's a one gig slash 10 gig port. That's pretty sweet. This thing, holy, I mean, it's, it's rubber. I like that. So it's not going to slip out of my hands, hopefully. Uh, oh, what is this? What has this got on the back of here? A camera port? It's 
got a camera on the back of it. Maybe you could take pictures of your rack with this thing. Oh, and it's got a flashlight. External antenna port, USB port, two ports. Now I did read also that you can't use both of these at the same time. I don't know why you would, but maybe somebody would. This is our multi-gig port and this is our SFP port for the cage. And then we got a management port. Now I also noticed when watching some videos, you can remote into this with VNC. So if you have one of these on site, I might even use that feature, I'm needing some help. Apparently, you can remote into this with VNC and somebody can help you or you can remote into it and help somebody else on site when they're doing tests. Maybe they're stuck, they can't figure something out, you remote into it and show them some stuff. But that's pretty cool. I wonder if it turns on. Oh, it does. Oh, it's got a fan in there. Oh, it's new, I can smell it. There we go, in that alley. Look at that. Loading. Simplicity, visibility, and collaboration. Mm, I like the colors. They're really vibrant. Oh, that is, uh, that looks really, 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 really nice. The screen is, huh. Oh, yeah. The time, 11.27. Oh. Alley care activation code. Oh yes, the instructions did say that we have to activate it. But on here it says, you have zero days to left to register, but this one says we have 30 days. Hmm, okay. I'll leave that part for another video. I can't do anything right now until we register. So I'm gonna have to create a video and register this device and show you guys. Looks like I can just turn it off. But it does say that Right here we have 30, so maybe this one was um, somewhere in past its 30 days. I don't know, but we'll turn it off. Ooh, responsive, holy, very responsive, very, very responsive. I like that. This can be a fun device to play with. Okay, I'll leave it at that. I am going to read the instructions how to activate. I'll film that on the next video, how to activate it, and we'll do some basic stuff. And then as I learn this device, we'll grow and do more and more advanced stuff. So hopefully that brings people's attention to see some cool toys, but I'll leave it at that. Mm. Mm. Sip some coffee, put all this back in the baggie and uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully it's gonna be fun, but we'll see. Maybe I will not be so intimidated. Thanks for watching.